Hi everyone, it is Tom back here on Jurassic Collectibles today and today we have got the studio space here set up a little bit differently it's all a little bit larger because we have got this huge box here from Mattel as you can see this is absolutely massive I cannot fit it all on the screen it is that huge um, but we are going to do our best to unbox this for you today and show you just what's inside because it's a pretty, pretty exciting thing to have our hands on. So again, I'm going to just bring it down. A massive thank you to our friends at Mattel for sending this our way. You can see absolutely huge box here. We're going to get straight into opening. Quite thick cellar tape on this one, it looks like. There we go. I'm gonna just have to cut either end. So I believe that this box has come all the way from Mattel's offices in California. So, long, long journey for what's inside, but certainly very grateful to Mattel for sending it our way, and very, very excited to take a look at this. So, as you can see, the camera's a little bit dark there. Um, not really too much I can do about that, unfortunately. It's just this thing is so big. If we move a couple of the lights back, we can maybe get a little bit more light on this thing as we open it up. There we go. So... Inside, we have got the massive, look at that, Jurassic World Primal Attack box. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this all out, get the studio set up properly, and we will take a look at the Primal Attack box. Really, really excited to have this one, um, and cannot wait to see what we've got inside. So let's cut over to this thing out of the packaging. Okay, so here we have got the Primal Attack box out of the packaging and you can see that the artwork on this thing, if we just let that focus, is gorgeous. All of the dinosaurs on the side there, the Ankylosaurus slash Sauropelta, Triceratops, Stiggy Moloch and the um, Stegosaurus on the side. Primal Attack logo, Danger. The other side, if we stand the box up, says danger only trained handlers handle with care Jurassic World primal attack really really nice looking box for this one I love how they've kind of tried to theme it all in with the actual brand itself looks very very nice indeed really really cool packaging for this thing and um, yeah I really, really like this one. I don't quite know what else to say. Um, I almost don't want to take these out of the box, but obviously we are going to want to do a review on these. You can see other dinosaurs on the other side of the packaging. Looking really, really cool there as well. So um, what I will do, I'm going to open this up off camera and we will take a look at what is inside. Okay, so here we have got the dinosaurs from this massive box out of the packaging, as you can see. Up first to note, we do have a nice little loose... Um, was not expecting that to happen then. Forget that the sound strikes have sound, but that was cool. Um, we do have a loose a little Snap Squad Indominus Rex in the package, which is quite nice, as you can see there. That looks quite cool. We will kind of stick that to one side. Um, we'll pull out the big ones first and take a look at them. So as you heard just then, the Soundstrike Triceratops, one of the new versions of dinosaurs in this line, which includes Soundstrike features, kind of similar to Raw Revores, but with features instead of buttons. If we look at the back of the packaging quickly, Looks like a really cool figure. We have got one I am excited for. Oh, that's cool, cool. 
This is the massive Biters Tarbosaurus. Really, really cool looking dinosaur again. I love the red jaw. Uh, very excited to do a review on this one. As you can see on the back there. Then up next, I'm not going to take it out, but you can see another Control and Conquer Carnotaurus just back there. Since we've already got one, we will look at doing a giveaway for that, so stay tuned for that. Up next, we have got the Tapijara, a re-release of a Savage Strike figure from the uh, earlier waves. Really, really cool looking dinosaur or um, aerial creature, should I say. Absolutely love the crest on this one. Looks really, really cool. Next up, we have got the repaint of the Draco Rex. As you can see there, repainted in green. Love the colours for the new attack packs. They look really, really cool. And you can see some of the others on the back there. We do have one of the other ones here. The Clovisaurus. And this is one of the brand new sculpts. Really excited to look at this one. And you can see the Ornithalestes on the back there is the other new sculpt for this wave. And then lastly, but certainly not least, we have got the Savage Strike version of Velociraptor Charlie. So we have seen Charlie before in the Attack Packs line, but this is a Savage Strike version. So, all in all, if I kind of pull everything back in. He says, trying to organise it all. You can see that we have got a really, really nice little assortment of products from Mattel here. Really, really cool looking lineup. Uh, and I'm really excited to look at all of these. So again, a massive thank you to the team at Mattel for sending these over. I'm really, really excited to get straight to work reviewing some of these figures because I think there's a lot of cool figures in this line. Uh, so I'm really excited to look at them and see what they are like out of the packaging. So. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing. Sorry it's been a little bit unorthodox. The box has actually been too big for my review space, so it's been really hard to film. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you have, make sure to stay tuned, because we will be reviewing all of the toys you see in front of you in the coming couple of weeks. Thanks guys for the support, for the love as always. I've seen some great support on my Battle Damage reviews, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope that you are continuing to enjoy my reviews and my content and as always stay tuned here on Jurassic Collectibles for much more from me, from the man himself and from everyone else. Take care and have a great week guys.